the rest What's up, y'all? Welcome to Tuesday Night Studio Sessions. My name is Sean. I'll be your host. Tonight, we've got a pretty cool show lined up. Uh, breaking news that's breaking the internet is the DJI Air 2S. So we're going to talk about that tonight. Um, the uh, little guy back there, the DJI Mavic Air 2, um, is one of my favorite drones. Um, I love how compact it is. Um, but I also like how powerful it is at the same time. Um, so we're going to talk about what the offering is that we know so far with the leaks going on about what is what is to be expected of the DJI Air 2S. Um, before that, we're going to do like a pre-show. Uh, let me know if you guys can hear me and see me. Um, and uh, yeah. We're going to get the show on the road. Um, I'm trying to get my screens working out. Um, so bear with me for just a bit. There we go. Um, I like how comments show up in Streamlabs. Whoa, StreamYard. My bad. <laughs> I like how comments show up in StreamYard, but I don't like the fact that I can... Um, I don't like the fact that I can't reach out to you guys personally. Like I can comment to you guys, but I can't, um, it doesn't automatically fill in your username so that it highlights a comment to you. So anyway, I've got the comments popping out so I can see live what's happening and see where the lag is and all that stuff. Um, I've got top chat, so I'm gonna go to live chat and then we're good to go there. So yeah. Um, I don't remember if I showed you guys last week or not, but the bunk bed is back. So um, I'm in the middle of turning that into an editing station 
slash unboxing station. Um, but I'm trying to work out the lights right now. I had a ring light that was kind of strapped to the bottom of the bed, um, but it just kind of hung down too low. Um, and then when I was taking some pictures um, this week to sell things on eBay, um, the ring light just shines right in anything with the screen that's reflective. So that's just a bad idea. <laughs> I've used a big ring light before um, in my unboxing. It gives kind of a nice, um, like, uniform light. It kind of cuts out shadows and stuff. But um, I'm trying to figure out what to do there. Um, I need to make, like, a soft box system. Um, and I even thought about making, like, a huge, like, turning the bottom into a, a huge soft box. Um, and then filling it with lighting um, from up top, but just trying to figure all that out. So roll call so far. We got a lot of people in here that I haven't seen in here before. Um, MT Panda. Um, I feel like that's one of my son's friends, um, but it might not be. Welcome MT Panda to the chat. Um, Lee Ben is in the house. Nacho Rolling is here. Eat More Possum. And Willyism is here. <laughs> Stephen Drone says, Am I late? You are 15 minutes late. No, you're good. Um, one of the things we're going to do tonight is we are going to show um, some drone videos, which I'm pretty excited about. Um, Stephen Drone sent me, I think, three videos. Um, I'm only going to show one per week, so um, the other two are kind of on the back burner um, when I need uh, filler content over the next several weeks. Um, but we're going to show the video that Greg Gregory Lawyer sent last week. Um, anyway, I'm pretty excited. Got every, got all the videos lined up in my dashboard. Got some banners with description like titles and the username that sent me the video so um i'm gonna put in the chat um my email address and if you would like to send me a youtube link of videos you would like to see on the channel um send them there And I can't type tonight. Is that right? Yep. And then I'm going to pin that to the top. Um, so hopefully that's pinned to the top for you guys. Okay, there, there it went. Can I pin multiple things? I wonder if I can pin multiple things. So, Willyism is in the house. Stephen Drones is here. Nick's High Tech. I don't know if I said hi to you yet. Um, Willyism is from Scotland. That's pretty awesome. We had uh, um, Mr. Lawler was here last week from Australia. So that was pretty awesome. Um, and I don't know if you can see it. I didn't light it very well. But there is the DJI Mavic Air 2. And over here is the original DJI Mavic Air. So we're going to talk about kind of where the Air has come from um, tonight. Uh, we're going to show some leaked. We're going to show a leaked promo video. Um, and then we are going to pause. We're going to scrub that video back and forth. Um, to kind of see what is available. Then we're going to run through several websites um, that I was researching um, over the last couple days. Um, and I even wrote a blog po blog post on shawneidstudios.com um, about it. So, yeah, there's a whole bunch of, bunch of goodness going on tonight. Super excited. Um, Willyism says, this version be like the Skydio. I'm not sure. Um, when the original DJI Mavic Air came out, it was the first drone that could really kind of fly by itself. 
um, from DJI. It was the first one that introduced the A-Pass system. Um, so one of my first tests that I ever did with that drone is I flew it straight towards my tripod with the camera on it, and the beeping was so annoying, but it actually flew around my tripod. Uh, it was the first one that could, instead of just avoid an obstacle, it was the first one that could fly around an obstacle. Um, so, so yeah. Not your rolling says yuck. Is the Skydio 2 yuck to you? Is that what you're saying yuck to? Um, I'm not sure. Oh, I missed a bald spot. My comb over wasn't very combed over tonight. I think I did that when I, there was a hair sticking up. And so I hairsprayed it and then I packed it down and I think I created a, a void in the top of my head. But that's okay. I will be 45 in a little over a month, and I am very thankful for the amount of hair that I still have. Um, all right, Willyism, don't go jumping ahead. We got a video. We'll talk about all that stuff. <laughs> um, but yeah, it does have um, more sensors. Um, and it's interesting to me the direction they're pointing in. Um, the, uh, if you guys know when a drone, well, we'll get into that a little bit later. Um, so everybody's saying I'm just a kid. I'm not just a kid, but maybe to you, sir. Um, so Stephen Jones is speaking up a lot. So I say we show his video first. What do y'all think? So I'm going to play his video. Don't you hate it when people just say what they're going to do instead of just doing it? So I'm not going to tell you what I'm going to do. I'm just going to show the video. All right. Um, I turned the music off because I don't know out of all the videos that I'm putting up here. I don't know um, whether the music is copyrighted. I don't know. I have the ability to show anything from Epidemic Sounds. But if it wasn't pulled off of that network or it wasn't free licensed, or from YouTube itself, I'm kind of afraid. I I really don't want to spend two hours making a video and doing a live stream and then get a copyright strike on it, okay? So if I don't play your music, don't get offended. I am just um, protecting my own backside. All right. So here we go. And this is the description of the video. Look at that. When I plan ahead, everything looks awesome. So I don't know if you guys can still hear me tonight. It looks like I'm not muted. So I'm going to kind of talk through this with you. Um, in the description that uh, Stephen Drone sent me about this um, old cotton mill in Baltic, Connecticut, um, there is a name written in the top of the cement. So... Uh, we're going to look closely to see what that name is. I had it written on here, but the the description took up half of the page. <laughs> so I didn't want to, I just wanted to put kind of a title and a name is what I decided on. Um, but uh, if you guys don't know uh, what Stephen Jones is flying here, he's flying a unique Typhoon H+. And a unique Typhoon H+, is a very large, it's not a huge, but it's a very, I mean, we're talking about the Air tonight. It's very big compared to the DJI Air 2S. Um, it is a hexacopter uh, with large, you know, it's got a, it's got a wingspan. Let's see, mine's the, it's the 520. So it's 520 somethings <laughs> is the wingspan on this bird. And, uh, but it has an amazing camera, a gimbal that can spin 360 degrees around. Um, so we are, he's being really cautious getting up next to that tower, kind of scaring the mess out of me. I don't know that I would take my hexacopter that close to a big cement wall, but, um, but I think this is really cool. You can see 
the uh, I'm going to go ahead and take the description off so you guys can enjoy the video a little bit better. Um, I love I love the old style buckles around here. You got these rusted steel buckles. You've got um, lightning rod um, pointers. Maybe that keeps the birds off as well. Um, but just look at this. Th think about what they did to make this. Um, I just think it's cool. Um, I love the, the broken down barn down there. You can see in here where some of the bricks are chipped away. Um, but there's like shards of bricks in the concrete, um, in the gravel to make the concrete. Um, it's really, really cool. What's up, Marcus? Welcome to the chat. I do not know anything about the CE certification C1 for Europe. Um, all I know is kind of what, what, I'm, what we're going to talk about tonight is kind of the specs that were leaked over the internet. Um, but if I would say that the certification if the if it works in on the DJI Mavic Air 2, there's a good chance that the Air 2S is going to have the same certifications. Um, but I'm not sure what certification C1 you're you're referring to. Um, I am not a technical person. Um, I am more of a creator. But um, but uh, <laughs> I'm sorry I don't have every answer for you, but. That is a wonderful question. If anybody else knows uh, what Marcus is talking about and can answer, um, that would be awesome. All right, so now um, Stephen Drones is uh, is um, disturbing the wildlife. We got pigeons up here. Um, and he said there's a name um, in the cement on top. So um, I think I see what he's talking about over to the left. Um, but yeah, he is getting right up on that tower. I am freaking out right now. Ah! Oh. All right, are you going to look down? All right, we're going to look down. So there is W. Morris. It looks like, I don't know, 09? I don't know. I couldn't make that out. see well let's just look at the video um and it might be kind of an optical illusion he might not actually be that close to the tower um you know depending on the focal length of the lens but really cool i mean this is like inspection type quality uh video you got going on here steve um the unique typhoon h plus has a one inch sensor um, so the video you can get and the quality you can get from this drone is amazing. And we're going to talk about a one-inch sensor a little bit later. Um, from the leaked photos and the videos that we're going to look at tonight, there's a good chance that the, the DJI Mavic, or sorry, the DJI Air 2S has the same camera that the Mavic Pro 2 has, which has a one-inch sensor, which is very similar to the image that you're looking at right now. So very, very cool video. Um, I thought that was just a really cool video. Um, I love seeing your videos that you send in. Um, super cool. So what do we got going on here? Marcus says new regulations in Europe. Air 2 doesn't have the certification and will be almost useless after January 2023. Um, is that certification similar to our remote ID that we're dealing with here in the States? Um, remote ID is something that um, all the drone manufacturers are required to put kind of a driver's license on the drone um, that sends out a signal and tells everybody else who owns the drone that's in the air. Um, right now, like if you have the DJI Mavic Air 2 up in the air, um, it's aircraft like manned aircraft send signal to my drone telling me kind of who they are. Um, and I think that's amazing. 
And I think the remote ID is the opposite of that, where our drones will transmit a signal with our personal identification number on it. If that's the same thing, um, then I, I don't know if it will be included in this drone or not. If they include remote ID um, and certifications from around the world, um, then everybody will buy this drone because it'll be the first future-proof drone that comes out. But I think our, you know, I think there's like 18 months or something that um, that our companies can't don't have to comply until that point. Okay. Um, Stephen Drone says it was 1909. That's a good possibility. It, it was, I mean, it, it looks like really, really the numbers are really worn out. Um, so. Oh, so Marcus said it's about drone classes and what you're allowed to do with. So here we have um, we have different drone classes. Um, we have the hobby class, which is under 250 grams. Then we have kind of the um, the the prosumer and the pro. Well, I wouldn't call it pro, but. Um, drones you have to register are above that, um, but there are even heavier drones that are different classes, like the the Matrice and the I always get this name wrong, Altus I think, the uh, the agriculture drone from DJI that can carry like five gallons of pesticides or water or whatever. I know that those are those drones are in special classes. You have to get a an extra certification for those drones. Um, but I am not the, um, um, I am not the international drone rule person. <laughs> so I apologize for that. Um, so Marcus said starting in 2023 drone, I can just put this on the screen. Oh, wait. I'm clicking on the wrong one. Uh, Marcus says, um, starting in 2023, drones with 500 grams to 899 grams must have a C1 certification to be allowed to use the drone close to people. Um, without that, you have to stay 150 meters away. Um, we have a... Uh, let's see, what was that? That was 150 meters away. Um, ours is like 25 feet, um, 150 meters. So if you've got to be 150 meters away from people, where do you fly? Well, we need to see how much this thing weighs. It might fit in, um, It might be below 500 grams. I do think it's heavier than the air, too. We'll look into that. We'll look into some specs that are, are leaked, and we'll also look at the specs of the actual DJI Mavic Air 2, um, because by the looks of it, it looks very similar and might weigh nearly the same. Um, I want to show another video. This was a video sent in last week, and we showed it last week on the show, on the live stream, but I wanted to demonstrate it um, while we're getting going here. Um, and this is Forest Lake at Bris Brisbane, Queensland. Gregory Lawler. Oh, I didn't capitalize his last name. Um, so this is a beautiful shot of a lake. So according to Marcus, it'll be around 600 grams. Um, so that's frustrating that they're building a drone that you have to get a special license for. Um, now is that for everybody or do you have to get a certification for yourself as a pilot 
to get closer to people? Or is that just the rule? And is that all of Europe or is it where you, you currently live? Now, um, Gregory's little, um, his drone is not in tripod mode. So um, you can see it kind of jerking back and forth. If you put it in tripod mode, the, the uh, turning the left and the right would be a little smoother. But I think this is a really cool shot um, of, of just the, root, the rooftops, the lake, beautiful sky, mountains in the background. Um, I love shots like this because the foreground always moves faster than the background. Um, we'll pull this off. Um, I just, I love shots like this. Um, I like seeing traffic going. It always seems to me that like cars are moving really slow, um, but it's just like ants. Like ants move really fast, but they look like they're moving really slow because of the perspective you have. So Marcus says it's a government certification for the drone that it meets all regulations. Gotcha. For all European countries. Marcus, is that so does would they would that keep them from selling it to Europe? Would you have to buy it like on eBay from some other country? Or um, do they just not sell it in Europe because it doesn't meet those certifications? Just curious. Um, so that's a really cool video. So let's talk about the DJI Mavic. No, it's not a Mavic. So from what we've seen in the leaks so far, they have taken the word Mavic off of the drone, just like they took Osmo off of the Pocket 2. Um, they're taking Mavic off. And I don't know if that's because the names are just getting too big and honky or um, if that's something that they, um, you know, are, are doing going forward. So so Marcus says it's allowed to sell without it as they sell the, the Mavic Air 2 at the moment. So... Um, but the users will have restrictions in use. Do you have a lot of signs everywhere that says no drones? Um, I know here we're not allowed to fly in like national parks. Um, we're not supposed to fly over large crowds of people. Now is, is your restriction large crowds of people or any person at all? Because I think it would hard, be really hard to find an area that doesn't have anybody 150 meters away from you unless it's like desert or um you know a forest or something like that um but like just how do you know that you're 150 meters away um now what is what is above ground level for you guys in europe marcus is it here it's 400 feet which is about 150 meters. So can you just shoot it up to 150 meters up in the sky and then fly wherever you want to? <laughs> or is it 150 meters like um, horizontally away from people, like in a 150 meter radius? Yeah, Nacho, that's exactly the question I just asked. Like, I mean, you can get away from people when you go up, <laughs> um, but if it drops out of the sky, then then you're kind of screwed a little bit. All right, so we are going to, I'm going to switch it over to this, and we are going to play the teaser trailer video that is all over the internet. You guys ready? Um, pretty sure this is a leaked marketing video from DJI. Um, that 
I have a feeling that they leaked on purpose, so we'd all be talking about it this week. Um, so here we go. It's really bad quality. That's it. That's all we get. All right, so we are going to pause it. And we're going to bring, we're going to start with this. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and put that up there just so we can. Well, that's not working, is it? Well, we're not going to put that up there then. All right. Let me get comfortable. Let me take a swig of coffee. So what we've got going on here is a one inch, 20 megapixel camera. Um, so I want to look up the Mavic Air 2 Pro. Oh, I mean the Mavic Pro 2. Um, and we're going to see if we can get a, I'm going to see if I can find a close up of the camera. All right. So I don't know if I can share this at the same time. So on the Mavic 2 Air, um, Mavic 2 Pro, Mavic Pro 2, I'm already getting the names all messed up. They have a Hasselblad, uh, 4 over 2.8 sensor, 28 millimeters. So um, the cameras don't look exactly the same. Um, I can't show you guys what I'm looking at. Maybe I can. Let's do that. So that's what I'm looking at right now. Um, you can see over here, you know, it's got Hasselblad over the top of it, and it's got this going on. Um, so that already makes me think that this... I don't think they've ever put one inch sensor on the outside of the camera. Does anybody ever put that on a camera? It's kind of interesting. Um, oh, yep, they got you right there, Marcus. That's the big bug. That's funny. I like how you said that. Um, not sure Rolling says it's got a vertical sensor. What does that mean? So does that mean that it's taking like four by three or like a square image? So Marcus says, so as mentioned, uh, without certification, you can only use the drone in Canada or Siberia, which is wired because I don't need. Oh, you don't need certifications to fly there. Well, at least you get to fly somewhere. Um, Nacho said mechanical zoom lens. That's interesting. Um, so this is touted to be like a 5.2K camera or something like that. Um, so if you flew it, if you flew it at 4K, then you might have um, a lossless zoom. That's a good, good idea. I wish this little thing wasn't here. Um, that would be sweet, but difficult to make compact for a one inch sensor. 
I hope not because no money to spend on it. <laughs> um, Nacho said no sensors on top. Okay, we'll get to the sensors. Um, let's go to the sensors now. So I want you guys to look at this image right here. Um, the sensors, so it, so I'm going to get my, my air two. So on the air two, there's two sensors on the back. There's two sensors on the front and two sensors on the bottom plus this other technology that I forgot what it is. So, so right here we've got, we still have the two sensors on the front, um, which is all the Air 2 has. But on this one, we've got these two that kind of point up, but they don't point exactly up. They almost point at like a, um, I want to say like a 20 or 30 degree angle. Um, but if you think about if you're flying your drone forward, um, there's a good chance that if you're flying forward, it's going to be kind of banking like this, depending on how fast you're going. But your drone might be going, you know, it might be down. Um, the, the Air 2 has the front props are on top, like they're higher than it. The, sorry to do. They're higher than they are in the back. Um, so when it flies, it kind of flies like this already. Um, so it'll be interesting to, to see what they say about these two sensors on the top. Um, it still has kind of the same. So there's the leg. Um, so here is this leg. It's not going to focus on it, is it? Maybe. There. So that's kind of the leg. The legs kind of look identical. Looks like the same motor, the same folding uh, blades, the same leg. So that part looks very similar. Um, <laughs> you got it, buddy. I, I mean, I'll try to answer your questions as much as I can. Um, and uh, Marcus, I don't know how long you've been um, been watching the channel, but um, I'm the kind of guy that doesn't know everything. Um, I'm the kind of guy that learns as I go, and I learn with you guys. So um, if that's the type of uh, videos you like, um, hope you stick around, man. Um, Nacho Rolling said, maybe it will be faster, so it needs sensors in that position. Um, that's what I was kind of thinking, like, um, you know, and that's that's kind of what I was saying about, you know, when it's when it's flying, if it, the faster it flies, like it goes in this direction. So maybe those are front sensors for when it's going really fast. But I could see if you were if you're flying slow and you're getting close to things like Stephen Jones was getting to um, and you go up, those sensors might act as kind of a forward and up. Um, yeah, the other thing that I want to say is these sensors are recessed. Um, I think the sensors would do a lot better if they were like a 360 camera and they stuck out um, so that you could overlap um, kind of the, the angle. Nacho said 80 miles an hour. Yeah, we'll see. Um, from what I, from what it looks like to me, it looks like it has the same motors and about the same battery size. So I feel like, I feel like they increased the sensors and they have made the camera better. That's about all I think they did to it. Um, but that's me. Just kind of like what they did with the Mavic One, or sorry, the Mini, and then the Mini Two. Like they kept the exact same body. Um, they they did increase this the uh, the range 
of the drone dramatically because they switched over to OcuSync and they gave it a 4K camera. So those might be the types of um, incremental upgrades we might be getting with this drone as well. Because um, I feel like there's going to be a Mavic 3 come out sometime this year, but I don't know if that's the case. They might be doing completely away with the Mavics, um, especially if this drone can do what it can do. Um, if the camera on this is as good as the Mavic 2 Pro, um, we've already seen that the Mavic Mavic Air 2 can can pretty much fly as good as the Pro can. So we'll see what happens. Um, so I thought that was kind of an interesting little image there. Um, that they took the word Mavic away, and it's just the Air 2S. All right, so let's play a little bit further. Oh, let's go back to... All right, so right here is a good shot of the sensors. So this sensor is pointing straight forward, and this sensor is kind of pointing up at an angle. It's not completely vertical. Oh! That's what Nacho meant by this. So when I was talking about the one-inch sensor on the camera, he was talking about the sensor on the drone. Got it. So that was miscommunication on my part. Um, so yeah, so there's that. And then we'll move a little bit forward to this. Um, so this is looks like it's exactly the same blade um, as we have on the Mavic Air 2. Uh, this drone flies pretty pretty quiet compared to uh, that <laughs> compared to that little red guy over there. Um, the DJI Mavic Air was the worst sounding drone I think they've ever made. I mean, it was like a swarm of bees, this high-pitched, and you could hear it from like a mile away, which was kind of good. You kind of knew your drone was coming back to you when you started hearing the bees come at you. So that was, you know, you can see on the camera what the drone's doing, and then it's pretty easy to find it in the sky because it's screaming at you. But um, it's nice to see that they're, you know, they're putting putting those blades on here. I like the little red tips that they're starting to do, or like the orange tips, uh, kind of like the FPV drone. Um, we've got ADS-B AirSense. So that's exactly the same thing that's written on this drone, exactly the same thing. So I don't know if there's a 2.0 or 3.0 or you know, maybe they've improved that a little bit, but for the most part, that's the same thing. And then here's the sensors on the back. So to me, the back looks exactly the same. I don't see any difference in the back. So I feel like it's going to be this size. I feel like they didn't even manufacture new parts. I feel like I mean, like, there's some things that are different, like the front, the front part of the drone is different. Um, so, but by the looks of it, they've kept the they kept the rear, and I think I feel like the legs are the same. Um, so, that's good. If it's not broke, don't fix it, right? Here's another beautiful shot of the camera. We've got DJI written on the camera. Let's see what the camera looks like here. So what they've got written on the camera on the Mavic Air 2 is they've got 1 over 3. So they do have the sensor size on here. And it's a 4.8 megapixel. Or a 48 megapixel. I'm going to get a better shot of that. My my eyes can't focus on that anymore. Um, so we're going to pull up a picture of that. 
while we're talking. So let's do map of air too. <laughs> All right, here we go. That's a good. So here's what we have on the camera for the Mavic Air 2. So it's a 1 over 2.0 inch sensor. So it's so it's a half inch sensor. 48 megapixels. Field of view 84 degrees and an f over 2.8. So it says one inch, 20 megapixel. So is that a downgrade? Why would they have a bigger sensor and a smaller megapixel? That's interesting. All right, let's go a little bit further. So this is a good shot of the front view. Um, all right, and then they start freaking it out. All right, so we're going to remove that from the stream. And then we're going to go over to the first website. Um, all right, so Eat More Possum says the same megapixel as the Mavic 2 Pro 1, one inch. So it might be the same camera. It doesn't have Hasselblad's name on it, so they might have done away with that partnership. I feel like, didn't DJI buy Hasselblad? I feel like that was all the buzz at one point. So um, I did my own my own blog, but uh, what I'm going to do tonight is I'm going to give credit where credit's due uh, for all of these, um, these other people that I got my research from. So we're going to run through this website. This is Drone Review and News. So if you guys don't regular this site, um, this is the first time I've been on the site, but I'm going to go here for more news. Um, so I'm not going to read the whole thing to you, but um, So they call this almost omnidirectional obstacle avoidance. The second enhanced feature is the addition of upward vision sensors, which were missing on the original um, Mavic Air 2. With this improvement, the Air 2S will have four direction obstacle avoidance. We couldn't see any side vision sensors in the video, which would normally be lo located just above the rear legs. All right. Um, the upward vision sensors have been placed at the front of the drone, unlike the Mavic 2 Pro, which has upward sensors in the rear of the drone. By strategically placing forward and upward sensors so close, DJI may be using enhanced AI to allow the drone to see and interpret the broad swath of airspace, airspace in front of it. So if you look at these, all four of these, um, you know, it might encompass a lot of area in front of the drone. And on the, and this is the back of the drone. Now the back of the drone faces straight back, but there's a good chance most people won't be going backwards. So maybe that's their thought there. They put all of the goodness in the front of the drone because most people will be flying their drones forward because that's where the camera is. Um, I do know a lot of people like to back their camera up um, and fly backwards. So it'll be interesting to see what's going on there. Um, bigger sensor. Um, 
and this is looks like it's borrowed from the Mavic 2 Pro. So I was actually thinking about buying a Mavic 2 Pro to use with Drone Link, um, but if this Air 2S works with Drone Link and it's got a one inch sensor, that's awesome. Um, so no vibe yet on what the price is. Uh, the current price of the Air 2 is $799. Um, but they think this is going to be under a thousand dollars, so it might be, you know, it might be a nine hundred drone. I have a feeling they're going to charge a thousand dollars for it, at least. Um, DJI likes to to charge a lot for their stuff. Um, someone else mentioned it might work with the new FPV goggles, um, which I think would be awesome. Um, but we think it's going to come out in April, as far according to this website. Um, so that's what that website has to say. This is Drone DJ. Um, they have, they're talking about um, the possibilities of an FPV drone. So this is all the things that their website talks about: the new features. Uh, will it be an FPV drone? Will the DJI Air 2S? work with the motion controller that's interesting um because you can buy the air the uh, motion controller separately i've seen a lot of people crash their drones with that dang motion controller though um camera upgrade air sense what is the range what will the cost be um i'm gonna skip past all that this is another picture that someone posted. Um, apparently there was a video where someone unboxed it and they took it down. I couldn't find that video. Um, but there's a really good shot of the front sensors. Um, and I see something right here, which is probably the battery. Yeah, that's that's where the, you take the battery off, so that's not a sensor. Um, So right here it says it'll ship with an improved sensor while he admits he's speculating. He's pretty specific in the fact that he suggests the drone will IMX686 sensor compatible, capable of 64 megapixel photos and 4K 60 frames per second. I don't, from the video that I just saw and I showed you guys, um, I don't think 64 megapixels is correct. but it might be doing that with, you know, panorama or something. Um, so this talks about the ADS-B detection. Um, what will the range be? Um, optimal conditions, possibly 34 minutes with AccuSync 2.0 video transmission. Um, is 10 kilometers. We can't imagine really pushing the range significantly further. So I agree with that. Um, 10 kilometers is pretty far for a drone, especially when you're supposed to have, keep your eye on it. <laughs> How many of y'all can really see your drone when it's up in the air? Fairly far away from you. Or do you fly by what you see on the screen? Which makes OcuSync even more important. Um, we can't say for certain when it will be released, but those FCC filings generally drop a month or two before the product hits the market. Um, one of the source told them that the Air 2S was already in production. We're anticipating the release some point in April. So we're in April, y'all. It's coming up. Um, last time I did a DJI FPV video, when I talked about the DJI FPV drone, I think it was like two weeks later the drone came out. So if my track record stands, then then we'll, we'll have this drone in a couple weeks. Now we'll see. There's a really good shot of the sensors. 
and that camera looks different to me. Maybe it's not, but I thought it was black in the other video. Um, oh no, that's the mini too. I guess it's silver there. All right, so now we're gonna go here. Oh, that's where I was copying. I do like these little orange tips. I'm not gonna lie, I think that's kind of sexy. The uh, original Mavic Pro had some gold striping and some gold tips and stuff. Um, and I'm kind of glad they're bringing that back. Um, so here's, um, so what was, what was Marcus's rule? So starting with 2023 drones with 500 grams to eight, 99 grams was what Marcus said. Uh, this is what we're seeing here is 600 grams. Um, it's about 30 grams heavier than this drone. So I wonder what, what made it heavier. It might just be the gimbal. It might be just that camera. Um, the company is also including a 10-bit color space, um, which is capable of cap capturing over a billion colors. Similarly, the Air 2S will support intelligent HDR, which automatically combines several recordings in order to increase the dynamic range in post-processing, without post-processing. So that's pretty cool. I'll throw that in there. That's what Nacho said. Nacho said it. I didn't. Maybe I did. Um, other features include hyperlapse, panorama, um, looking at the renders of the drone features a total of four rotors and apparently capable of reaching a maximum speed of 19 meters per second, about 68 kilometers per hour, which is the same as the Mavic Air 2. Sorry, I'm getting, getting for Klimt. I thought this was interesting, this Master Shots comment. Um, it says, just like the Mavic Air 2, uh, the Air 2S will house 8, eight gigabytes of onboard storage. Other new additions include Master Shots, which has the drone perform 10 different maneuvers of a subject and make short little recordings. So that might be kind of cool for like some B-roll. Not sure what that means. But um, if it's anything like the Droney, like when the Asteroid came out, we were all like, what? So it literally did a Droney, then it took a panorama, turned, made a tiny planet, and then combined all that into a little video where it pulled away and created this tiny planet. When they did that, I loved it. I was like, man, that's cool. And when they introduced the Helix, I thought it was pretty awesome. But if it combines several of those things... Um, it scares me about people's surroundings. Like if they're at like a ballpark or something and there's a really tall fence or, um, you know, near a football field with like really tall lights, um, that might be something that like, like you might have to be out in the middle of a field or somewhere to get a master shot done. Or these sensors might be good enough that it can fly around things, which would be cool too. What's up, Stewie Forever? Thanks for showing up. He thinks that's cool. Um, and I think he's talking about the master shots that I just talked about. I think that's really cool too. Uh, this will be supplemented by the company's Spotlight 2.0, um, Point of Interest 3.0, along with Active Track 4.0. Additionally, the DJI Air 2S will also be upgraded to autopilot version 4.0. This will allow it to detect objects in all four directions and avoid avoid them. The drone is expected to be powered by a 3,500 milliamp battery, um, which had first been confirmed by previous FCC listings. Um, so that's probably legit. Um, it, the exact pricing is not known, but it'll probably be roughly $950. So,
So that's pretty cool. All right. This is the other site that I got information from for mine. Um, this is just has a bolded list, a one-inch sensor, 20 megapixel stills capability, silent props, and ADS-B obstacle avoidance sensors in the front, top, and back. Um, and it confirms the name. So this, this post doesn't really say much. Um, so yeah. Um, that's about it. That's about all that we're going to talk about with the Mavic Air, Mavic 2S. Um, I'm going to play a video now of that was taken from my DJI Mavic Air 2, um, which kind of shows the flying capabilities of an orbit using drone link. Um, so this is an automated, um, this is an automated uh, flight from my DJI Mavic Air 2. A lot of you have already seen it, but we've got a lot of new people in here tonight, so uh, we're going to play that. Um, and I'll kind of kind of commentate. Um, this is the um, area behind my house. They're building a lot of homes, um, and I like I only took this two weeks ago. All those foundations that are laid have houses on them now, so they're literally throwing these houses up as fast as they can. Um, this will be a rental property. Um, and so I put this in DaVinci Resolve and I put a um, tilt shift effect on it so that it kind of looked like a tiny, tiny little model. Um, so I think that's pretty cool. But I thought since we were talking about the, the Air 2S, um, I only thought it fitting to show some footage from the current DJI Mavic Air 2. Um, that is the latest photography drone from um, DJI, and the Air 2S won't be much different. Um, so, yeah. Um, I think this is beautiful. This is done kind of around the golden hour. Um, the golden hour in the sky is a little bit different than the golden hour on the ground. Um, just because uh, your perspective, like you get to actually see the sunset from the air, um, whereas on the ground, um, you know, all the trees and everything is in the way of the sunset. Um, so I thought this turned out pretty good. Um, I might go out and fly this again tomorrow just to kind of see uh, the update of um, of what this neighborhood looks like. Um, I've actually created a really long flight plan in drone length that I'm going to fly um, this week as well, um, where I go kind of look at all these woods around me. Um, with the the flight time that the DJI Mavic Air 2 has, I'm able to, to fly for longer, and the connection is way better uh, than the Mini. Um, and even my DJI Mavic Pro. So I'll be able to have full connection to my drone the entire time I'm flying. Um, so pretty excited about that. Um, but yeah, I thought this was just kind of a peaceful shot. Um, what I love about drone videos is it kind of takes you away. It's like a sound of silence. You know, there's so much noise and stuff going on kind of around you and you know when you get up in the, up in the sky um, it's a uh, you know it's kind of peaceful so um, Stephen drone says are those trees blurry um, yes they are blurry um, and maybe I should describe what tilt shift is tilt shift um, you basically make the the top area of the video blurry and the bottom area of the video blurry so that you have like a narrow vision of sight. Um, just like if you were looking at a toy, um, toys are like super saturated and the focal length, kind of like a macro photo of like a bee or something. Um, 
macro generally has a, a really shallow depth of field. Um, so you're only focused on the middle and making it kind of blurry on the edges kind of draws your eyes into the middle of the fo of the, the video. Um, and so, yes, they are blurry, but they're blurry on, on purpose. <laughs> so, um, so yeah. So now the last piece of um, housekeeping, um, I just want to bring up um, SeanEyedStudios.com. I haven't talked about it in a while. Um, so I'm just going to show you what's new on um, SeanEyedStudios.com and what I have to offer. So what's new is the news section. Um, I'm trying to draw people into my website with actual content. Um, so far, I'm putting all of the live streams up that I've done this year. I'm not going to put every live stream up, but I decided to start with um, January 12th was the first one I did this year. Um, so I'm putting these up. Um, here is my post on my website. Um, and it's basically a combination of two other websites information um, of what to expect with um, the DJI Air 2S. Um, here's pictures from the video. Um, I've quoted the sources that I got my information from. Um, but you can go in here and you can uh, leave comments on, on the news posts. But every time there's something breaking, like breaking news, I'm going to put it here. Um, a reminder, if you need to purchase gear um, on the um, on my Amazon idea board, there's plenty of um, gear that I have reviewed on my channel, gear that I would, I would recommend uh, for drones, action cameras, e-bikes, smart homes, all of that kind of stuff. I've been building up a library for the last three years there. Um, the club, I feel like the club is dying. I feel like it's dead. Um, but um, here's a Discord that you can connect to. Um, so hopefully that'll start picking up at some point. Um, and then here's T-shirts. In the T-shirt section, um, I'm designing T-shirts kind of drone related right now, but I'm planning on doing 360 video, action cameras, um, FPV drones, uh, that type of thing. Um, but you can order from here some nice little swag, uh, swag that I designed myself. So yeah, that's SeanEyedStudios.com. Um, it is a wealth of information. Um, I'm also planning on getting a P.O. box, so I'll actually have a physical address that you guys can send stuff to if you want. Um, also trying to get um, manufacturers to send me stuff to this year. So yeah, that's it. That was Sean Ide Studios Tuesday Night Studio Sessions. <laughs> um, hope you guys enjoyed the show. Um, I think I'm going to cut out a little early tonight, um, spend some time with the family. Um, if you have, um, if you want to keep my family in your prayers, um, my son, um, he, there's a girl that, um, that he's been hanging out with at school that got COVID-19. Um, so he is quarantined this week. So um, he is here at the house, possibly with COVID, and I work from home, and I'm at high risk. I'll get my second shot on the 16th of the vaccine, um, and my mother is high risk, and she is gets her second shot on the 14th. So we're not really going to be immune to it until May, if we are immune at all, uh, with the vaccine. So... Um, just pray that we don't get COVID. We've gone, we've done really good this, this last year of staying away from people. I've lost touch with humanity. 
because of this stupid virus. And if I get it between my first and second shot, I'm going to be a little frustrated. So that is that. To end on a happy note, we're here every Tuesday night, um, 7 p.m. Central. Um, I try to put up a, um, I try to set up the video ahead of time so there's a countdown for you guys so you know exactly when it's going to start. Um, but I stream to YouTube and I stream to Facebook. Nobody ever says anything from Facebook, so I don't know if anybody ever watches on Facebook. But if you're on YouTube, we have a good old time. So, yeah. That's about all I got for y'all tonight. Um, catch you guys on the next video. Please like, subscribe to my channel, click on the bell for notifications. I want to put out more videos about the DJI Air S2, 2S. I messed that up. Action cameras, live streaming, regular cameras, 360 cameras, all that jazz. And if you would like to send me a video of it doesn't have to be a drone video it can be a 360 video it can be a regular video um if it's got music on it i'm gonna mute the video but if it doesn't have music on it and you're talking or something like that and i feel like it's appropriate we'll put that up but my email address is sean.ide.studios at gmail.com so y'all have a wonderful night and uh yeah. Peace out, y'all.